and welcome class 5 students this is another important maths class where i'm going to solve some important some more important maths so please follow the today's class carefully uh, previously i have explained you the rules of divisions and multiplications and some critical problems associated with that today also i will uh, focus on those types of sums that i have done previously also but different critical problems here in this sum dividend is given suppose a sum is given to you where dividend is given and divisor is given dividend is given to you and divisor is given dividend is given uh, suppose uh, 9 7 8 3 5 2 9 7 8 3 5 2 and divisor is given to you as 4 32 4 32 you are asked to find out the quotient when remainder is remainder is given to you remainder is 304 and you are asked to find out the quotient quotient you are required to find out how you will find out so first what you have to do is write the formula that is dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder here dividend is given to you that is 9 7 8 3 5 2 divisor is given to you that is 4 32 quotient is not given to you but remainder is given to you as 304 you will simply write the figures in place of the terminologies divisor written in place of divisor and remainder also written in place of remainder but quotient is missing you have to find out the quotient so first what you need to do is subtract the remainder. You have to bring the remainder from the right hand side to the left hand side with the change in symbol. Plus 304 will become minus 304. And here 432 into quotient. First you have to do the minus. Doing the minus, you are going to get the result as 978048. After doing the minus, you are going to get this. Then 432 into quotient. Now, in order to find out the quotient only, 978048 divided by 432. This you are going to do. You are going to divide this you can cancel this into re, uh, lowest term or you can do the division as i have shown you earlier how to do the division by dividing 432 with this 978048 you are going to get 2264 2264 you are going to get as the quotient you can show the division you can show the division you have to show the division I'm rubbing the upper part so that I can show you the division so that you don't face any problem while doing the sum. Because often you ask whether you have to do the rough work. Yes, rough work is very important to you. You have to do the rough work. 978048 divided by 432 will give you 2264. How that I'm going to show you today? Uh, 432 into 2 gives you... 864 so 2 again again 2 864 again you are going to get 6 432 into 6 592 So very easily you can see this is the answer coming I have shown you this is the answer coming so this is the quotient this one is the quotient and this one is the required answer the quotient required in this
this sum is 2, 2, 6, 4. This 2, 2, 6, 4 is the quotient. Now very quickly I am going to show you the next sum where, where uh, the sum is a little bit different. A number multiplied by 100 gives the same result as 500 multiplied by, I am showing you, the sum is a little bit different but very easy sum. It is given that a number multiplied by 100. We don't know the number. It is given that a number multiplied by 100 gives you the same result as, as 508 multiplied by 325. 508 multiplied by 325. This multiplication will give you the same result as 100 multiplied by that particular number. I again explain a number multiplied by 100 gives you the same result. That's why equals to is given. Gives you the same result as 508 multiplied by 325. 508 into 325 will give you the same result as a number multiplied by 100. So what you have to do is first you have to multiply 508 with 325 and find out the result. The result you will get as 165100. So a number multiplied by 100 gives you same result as 508 into 325 which means 165100. So you have to find out that number. In order to find out that number, you will find out the number is equal to the number is equal to 165100 divided by 100. 165100 divided by 100. In this way you can find out the number. 165100 divided by 100. And thus you get by cancellation, thus you get the number as 1651. 1651 is the required number. In this way you have to solve the sum. Very quickly we will do the last sum that is very important. The product of two number is given to you. Suppose the product of two number is given to you. Product of two number is given as product of two number is given as 336072 336072 The product of two number this is the product of two number one number is given to you one number is given to you that is 2546 2546 this is one number how will you find out the other number you have to find out the other number how will you find out this other number simply by dividing the product with one number simply by dividing the product by this number 336072 divided by 2546 so this division you have to do and find out the other number i'll show you the other number will be just the result of division of 336072 336072 divided by 2546. Simply you can reduce this into lowest term or can do division as I have shown you earlier. By doing this division you are going to get answer as you are going to get the answer as 132. 132 will be the answer. 132 will be the other number other number which is required. So the other number, the answer of the sum will be the other number is 132. The product is given 336072. One number is given 2546. These types of sums if given to you, you have to simply divide the product with one number to get the other number. Okay. In this way, you can do the division as I have shown you in the class. Or you can do the cancellation reduced to lowest term to find out the other number. You have to do division or reduced to lowest term to find out the other number. Whenever these types of sums will be given, product will be divided by the one number which is given to find out the other number which is 132 in the sum. In this way, we will solve the different sums given 
associated with multiplications and divisions more i will help you to <clears throat> i will help you by explaining in the online classes so i hope whatever i have explained you have understood till then goodbye